Hey, Castmaster Flash here, and welcome to MLB 20, the show, or is MLB the show 20? Whatever, doesn't matter, we're playing it. We're going to start a road to the show, and, I mean, you know, I've done a few of these, and I've played some different positions, but it's been a while since I did a starting pitcher, so I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a starting pitcher this time. Close the door, starting pitcher, all right. So I get so I get a couple pitches. Obviously four seam fastball is the first one. Do knuckleball. And what should we make the last pitch? Because I think we get three we get three pitches to start. Oh, yeah, twelve to six curve. Alright. Right handed. Right handed pitcher. We need a pitcher. We'll get the get the name going here. Ecast Master Flash. And gotta give me the best number of all time, number nine. All right, what kind of pitcher do we want to be? We could be a flamethrower like Noah Syndergaard or John Smoltz, or we could do what else? Um. Do plain filthy, control freak. I think that's our three choices. We only have three choices. Marilyn Rivera and Greg Maddox. Zach Granky, Tom Glavin. I like how they have the three Atlanta pitchers. I'm going to go with Flamethrower because that's the most fun. And uh, I think my dad knows John Smoltz or has met John Smoltz. So we're going to go with that. Or maybe he played baseball with his cousin. I don't know. We're all from the same area, so... Uh, let's see, what kind of perks do we want? Heart and Soul, Captain. Heart and Soul, make number one. Captain, two. Lightning Rod or Maverick? For the last one. All right, we'll go Lightning Rod, two. Met Captain, one. All right. Let's see, what what's a close? Can we get close? How close can we get? It'd be just cool for once just to have, like, my name actually in here. Uh, skin tone. You know, I never was really into, just like, you know, you can just, cr like, do so much, like, creating your player. I've just never really been into that, like, super hardcore. And I don't know, maybe it's because, like, like that you didn't have those choices when I was growing up. So, you know, it's like you had like three preset guys to make your guy look like. And the first baseball game I got was like Triple Play 2000. And I could literally like make make my guy look, look, look one of three ways. <laughs> it's, it's just crazy what you can do, man. Now, man. What kind of hair we want to give him? Do we want to give him long hair? I don't think I can quite make my hair long enough, though. That might be what we go with. My hair is way longer than that, but it's all right. Do the rat tail? Is that the the uh, Jey Uso? Huh. If I wanted to go with cornrows, I could, I guess, or braids, or whatever, whatever that was. Dreads, dreads, that's what I was the word I was looking for. Oh, we're doing the Ricky Vaughn. Wild thing. We're coming out of the California Penal League. Go with dark brown. Actually they're brown, but kind of a hazily brown. Sideburns, we can do long sideburns. How about you sideburns? You want some of this milk? I've been watching way too many Adam Sandler movies. I love that he's got like his deal with Netflix. He just he just puts out a movie like every so often. And you know what? In my opinion, they're all pretty good. I like that he just he, you know it's pretty cool. Netflix just gave him so much money just to do whatever he wants and give all his friends parts in his movies, and I'm here for it.
or what kind of beard we want to give him. Ricky Vaughn didn't have a beard, but we're not making Ricky Vaughn, so. Yes. his wind up to be Trevor Hoffman he was good Greg Maddox he's pretty good too Mike Pelfrey the former Tiger Nolan Ryan. Do Mariano. Bobby C. I believe he was a former Tiger too. There's John Smoltz. We'll go with John Smoltz since I was modeling myself after him anyways. We'll go with Smoltz's uh, wind up. I don't know why I'm doing catching style because I'm a pitcher. I'm never going to catch. I highly doubt I would ever catch. But I guess crazier things have happened. I guess... 
how much do, the, do any of these really matter? I mean, I don't even know how much my guy's even going to get to hit. Since they don't do, uh... Or do they still do? When did they take away the... The NL... Pitcher batting? Was that in 2020 or was that 21? Or 22? I don't even remember. All these years just... These years now, man, I'm getting old. They just all blend together and I have no idea anymore. What, what year is it anyways? Time even real. I had a guy who I work with going off about how time wasn't real. And it's like... I mean, technically, no. It is it is kind of a man-made concept, but... I mean... It's kind of real. I don't even want to talk about it. Bat slams. I, I hate that I had to unlock all these. So I didn't unlock any. It's just like, nah, I just don't know. Don't care. Do some telekinesis. I'm just got to fade away out of breath. Out of breath right now. Just thinking about it. I do tug of war. Beanbag race. <laughs> the caddy? Hey, shooter, you forgot your nine iron. There's one in a previous game where he was like levitating. Where's that one? Can I do that one? That one was pretty fun. Again, I'm never going to hit... This guy's a pitcher, so I'm never going to hit a home run with him. So I don't know why this matters, but I want it. Most valuable kicker. Tug of war, that's fine. My walk-up music, because I'm, I'm going to hit so much, the walk-up music's going to matter. I don't think it will. You just pick one. I'm trying to find at least a decent one, just in case. Just so that I'm not, like, upset every time uh, I come up to hit, if I ever do. Joke's on me, I'm dra getting drafted by a, a AL team, so... Won't have to either way. If they're even... Again, don't even know what year they got rid of the, the NL pitchers batting. You know... I wish they would have kept that, and I'll tell you why. Because I absolutely loved the fact that the two leagues had different rules. Like that doesn't happen in any other sport. I thought that made. Like, I felt that that always made baseball special. And I loved it as a kid that like I could watch like, in summer day in the middle of the, like just a random afternoon in the middle of summer I'd turn on ESPN and there'd be like the Pirates playing the Reds and they'd have pitchers batting. And the umpires would be wearing different different colors than the American League umpires. I just thought it was cool. You know, I was eight, nine years old, and, like, I just thought it was cool that, you know, the different part of the parks had different dimensions, and their diff different leagues had different rules, and it's crazy. And I think, like, it was 2000, like, they, the two leagues consolidated into one entity, Major League Baseball. I think it was 2000. Like, it was, it's a lot later than you'd realize that that actually happened. They were two separate leagues for a very long time. And, uh... Yeah, I, I just thought it was so cool that they had different rules, and I still thought it was cool. And then they were like, hey, we're going to DH, you know, for both leagues. And I'm like, no. And then they're like, oh, and we're putting a runner on second base in extra innings. And it's like, what are we doing? Like I understand, base you know baseball is getting let behind the times, and you know some changes need to be made. But who thought these changes were good? Like I guess you know the DH thing—they've been going back and forth on that since the 50s. So 
You know, I, eventually that was going to happen, but this phantom ghost runner or whatever he is in the, ten, in the extra innings, I hate it. The, my team lost on that a couple nights ago to the Oakland Athletics. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the ghost runner thing, but, I mean, it is what it is. I'm, I'm all for the pitch clock, speed up the games a little bit, because some of the games just got ridiculous. I'm totally having a lime green mitt because I can. Um, I had a phone that was lime green once, and I only got it just as it was obnoxiously green, and I wanted to annoy people. That's kind of my MO. Um, but yeah, I don't like the Ghost Runner. Pitch Clock I'm good with. The only thing I don't like is they're so like the umpires don't have discretion. Like if it's so cut and dry. Like because obviously I'm a Tigers fan. Miguel Cabrera in his final season. There's gonna be a lot of times that fans wanna you know you know give him around like a standing ovation just to acknowledge and honor what he's done in his career because it's been a phenomenal career. You know. Uh, he gets a lot of a lot of uh, flack for how bad the last couple of years have gone, and but I, you got to acknowledge and honor what the dude's done in his career because up until the last couple of years it was maybe the greatest right-handed hitter career of all time, and yeah he definitely fell off hard at the end, but um, what he was able to do for the first you know 15 years of his 20-ish year career is just outstanding. Triple crown, back-to-back -back MVP, countless batting titles. Like, the dude did it all. And uh, you know, showed up Roger Clemens as a rookie. Like, <laughs> the dude did it all. You got to just, you, you got to honor the guy. And, you know, you want to give the guy a standing ovation or whatever. You can't because he's rushed into the batter's box by the pitch clock and, I wish in in those cases, the umpires had some discretion to let that slide, and they don't, and it's unfortunate. But we'll move on, and you know maybe maybe we'll we'll get some more changes in about a hundred years to fix the changes they just made. <laughs> Hopefully the game doesn't die by then, because it's unfortunately as as important as baseball was to me growing up. For it to just be gone one day would be, it would be sad. I, I don't know how else to put that. It would, it would, it would be sad. Now, should I give myself some glasses like Ricky Vaughn? No, because I didn't. I'm not making Ricky Vaughn. I'm, I'm just doing the wild thing haircut because it's there. Just like I have a lime green glove. All right, let's have fun. Let's. I always do this with the cleats. Where I just go in order one two three one two three one two three, just because you'll just get some crazy, crazy team colored cleats at, at sometimes. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do it. It doesn't matter. Why does it even give me these options? I'm a pitcher. I'm never gonna be catching. We'll just leave it. Who cares? You guys want to see me get into game action? Get drafted. I want to see it too. Turtleneck. I'm not putting a turtleneck on because she won't let me wear my chain with it. Yes, that was a Lonely Island reference. She let me wear my chain in my turtleneck sweater. Batting gloves, don't care. Making things pink. And lime green. I think we're good. I think that's everything. Yeah, that looks to be everything. Can I put on wristbands? I don't think I can because I'm a pitcher. It won't, they won't let me use wristbands. Because I always like putting the wristbands on that have the number on them, but I don't think I can do that since I'm a pitcher. Days before the 40 round MLB right, draft, the showcase. some lesser known prospects get one last chance to make an impression at Bowman Scout Bowman Day. Scout Day, here we are. Baseball City, Florida.
Ooh, doggy. All right, let's see how we do. Stretching. I think I, I got to go. They make me run the 40. I don't know why a pitcher needs to run the 40. It's like making kickers run the 40 at the NFL Combine. Wait, do kickers even go to the NFL Combine? I don't know because I, I never watched the NFL Combine. How would I do? I did it. Yeah. About what he expected, I guess. All right, scouts be watching very closely in the amount of day. They, whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, we're ready to go. I got to hit targets with my pitches. Like that. I nailed that target. All right. Fastball. Let's nail this target, too. All right, close enough. That gave me something. All right, keep, let's keep nailing targets at the corners. Uh, I overshot that one. Oh, I just realized it's going to make me hit, hit targets with a knuckleball. So this might not have been my best. Uh, uh, it might not have been my best choice to put a knuckleball as one of my pitches, but in game action, it's going to be great. And I'll tell you why. Because I can go, I can go 98 on the fastball. I can go, what is that, 70 on the knuckleball. The only issue is you can't really hit a target with it because you don't know where it's going to go. Actually, that was pretty good. I guarantee I won't continue to get that lucky though. Oh, okay. Well, good thing it doesn't knuckle very much. It's probably not a good thing for me. All right, that one was a little off. That one. That one knuckled. All right, 12 to 6. I can at least, like, get the aim on the, like, the movement of the 12 to 6, you would think. But that was awful. And I don't like that it's like you gotta aim for these corners with twelve to six. Like who's throwing a twelve to six at the top corner? Who's throwing a twelve to six curveball up and in? Because you're just asking for it to get hit five hundred feet. See, yeah, that's that's more like it. You want it down. That's perfect. Yeah, but you want like 12 to 6 curveball. You want to draw. You want it in the dirt almost. Like you want it to start off like belt high and then finish in the dirt. Oh, I ran a 7.04. Oh, it's a 60 yard dash. Okay, that makes a little more sense. I was going to say, I ran a 7 second 40. Better than my 12 and a half second a 40 that I run in real life. That personality influences how they respond to their teammates I'm and their talking coaches. to my teammate over here. I don't know his, his name. It just says teammate. Okay. Nondescript teammate number one here. What should I say to him? As we go through, as we turn through the, the tutorial here, tell me about perks. Don't care about the perks. I mean, perks are good, but so they, may, they do give you like a little bit of a boost. But what do we want to say to this dude? We gotta do heart and soul. That's like my my main one. Maverick, no, because I don't even think I can unlock Maverick. So I don't even know if I should ever use the Maverick option. We'll go with we'll go with the captain one. We gotta step up as a team of individuals that aren't actually a team, but we're trying to get drafted. So yeah, I'm a 53 overall, so that's not good, but we can get better. All right, let's start the first game. I got an A potential, so that's good. Uh, starting pitcher, overall a 53. Same pitchers have an effective knuckleball throw it almost exclusively. Oops. Afternoon baseball here Who says on you can't the show. Throw 98 and Today throw a we get the ball rolling with an intriguing matchup on day one. Between the prospects from the West Region and the prospects you, from the Central Region. And knuckleball, I would do it. If you just throw 98 in the next pitch, you could just be like, Ooh, 67 miles per hour with movement. And they're just, the batters just be like, what, what am I supposed to do with this? 
But he just saw 98, and then he saw 67. Matt Kessler, a right-hander from Michigan, is the starter wild on the mound. Thing. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? This guy has everything. a three-pitch mix, and he needs all three of his pitches. If he has them all working oh, and uses them properly, movie. he has a chance Major to be League very effective. He's never seen it. Stepping in, Ike Ramirez, and we are Tom ready for some daytime Major baseball. What are you doing with the life, man? First pitch on its way. Oh, yeah. And here's a fastball Get called for first strike pitch. one. Oh, Over for a strike, I think he threw 96. See what, my, what else my pitches can do. Yeah, hit that. Uh, 69 miles per hour. That's a one. nice two two. ball. Right, Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Out. Oh, Down the first six, baseline. Seven, but this will wind up foul. Well, still right, right, 0 2. Here it comes. Drop, it, drop out of the zone. 97. And he fouls this off. one off. Another 0 and 2 coming. Oh, Come on. There's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Angel Hernandez, Just what are you doing here? Just a perfect afternoon for baseball. 80 degrees under clear blue skies. Go back to your really good at bat here from the leadoff hitter as he'll force him to throw another one. Making me throw extra pitches the next to this one guy two pitch. You can't ring him up. There we go. Baseball strike three called, and he's caught you looking to 90. begin the yeah. afternoon. Well, 96 at the letter is good luck. Leaving him to watch helplessly as strike three was called. Any pitcher that can rack up a K against this strong talent is a pitcher that's going to have a job for a long time. We'll see if he can post some more Ks before he's done here. Jimmy Carmichael here, number two hitter. Grounder back at the middle. Can you throw him out? Fielded cleanly. Yes, he can. All right. Way to go, guys. Good defense behind me. So striding in, Ryan Levy, first chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Levy. All right. And yep. he gets ahead here right. with the Thanks, fastball. Thanks, Angel. That one, one. Uh, made up for that. All bases are empty here with two pitch. men out. That should have been strike three. All right, that one. Strike two on the curve. Okay, all right. So you give me that outside corner. He has a hitter right here. You I'm can't be leaning out it. over. I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half. But nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right here. All right, let's drop one off the table and the see if we can chase it. And we do. It's Look at that. And a miss. He Beautiful. Struck him out. Changing eye levels. So a rather pedestrian start to the, the top one, half two, of the first. Three. On now to the bottom of inning number one with no score after half an inning. see if they can get me some runs. I imagine they're only going to let me pitch a couple innings. Standing in, Alberto Tavares. He'll get out. to take his first I'm cuts here. I get more than one inning, actually. And oh, that, that one's in our hands to start the inning. It's right. one. Swing and a miss. One and one. Blew it right by him at 96. It's a ball and a strike. Yeah, that was Lost a nice hanging curveball. Right but onto I got the grass. some good D behind him. He's there and records the first down. So he'll, he'll run it down. Ready now, Steven Rosario, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. No score here as we play inning number two. Look at that. And a strike to the That hitter is just like, what was that? Are you kidding me? You just do 98, and then you come back with that. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. To two and two now. Two, two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Oh, yeah, because I just wow, threw a knuckleball and a 12 6 curveball. Then I Great threw back into that. Oh, the look at that. To set up the heater. And they could go 79 either miles way per hour. now, I suppose. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Steven hey, Rosario on, is sent That's packing good. for route number two in the inning. Oof. Jamie hey, Iverson is at that the plate as he looks low, at so I'll give him that. All right. That's by him for strike one. one. No, that that was not Outside, a good pitch. That was not close. Hey, they tried to tie not him up close. on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Fouled away. Right, nine, Ninety-six up high. Fouled it off. Let's see if you let's see if you hit this two, one two. after seeing ninety-six. You can, okay. Now a swing and a fly ball. Long run he's, for the right fielder. He was fielder, somehow behind the knuckleball, which is 
I don't really understand that one. But we'll just strike Swing him on and a miss, and that ends the ball. inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom no, half of nothing. inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. So coming to the plate, no, uh, Steve Levine. The center field. Ready to deliver. Here's Steve. the first pitch. Levine. I bet you I get pulled after this inning. It's probably, it'll probably let me get give me three innings and pull Set me. to deliver the 0-1. Oh, oh, yeah. Come on, no ball. Two strikes. Ooh. Lifted the other way yeah. to left, left center. Left fielder giving okay. chase. All right. He gets there to make the play for the first Y'all out got of the nothing inning. On me. Here's the first That'd pitch so to him. Like go through the lineup. Joe Watson no, that's it. is at the plate as he watches all ball one. Years. Set them all down. One out, nobody on. It would definitely help my draft stock. Right? And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Hit down the line at first, but this will get like fouled. It's, not it's a ball the and two enough. strikes. Like I don't, I don't understand how these guys are behind the knuckleball. Like Outside they're, and they're, low that time. Now it's two balls it. and After two strikes. Count, so you'd love ball. for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone I see and breaks a game just where out. I'm going to get a lot just of a great take by the batter. So he and ran the okay. fastball by him for the punch out. Joe Watson goes down for right out view. number two in the top half. Arthur. Patrick right. Arthur is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Third inning, no score to this point. Mm. And a pitch in one the and dirt one. as he lays off. It's one it. and one. He did not. He's like, nah, fam. I'm not going out. Well, that was such an awkward two. swing. Oh, man. Oh, he got him looking. What a pitch. As he can't get the bat 12, off his shoulder. 12-6, low and outside. Make it nine Fetch straight here to corner. start the ball game. We'll head now to the home half of inning Good number luck three. With that. And we are yeah, tied nothing-nothing. Yeah. I couldn't even get the bat off his shoulder. And, yeah, I got pulled David after three. Durta takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Number 12, David. So that means Durta. I'm not eligible for a win. That's okay. I'm good with. I don't care. And we lost anyways, because. Oh, maybe they should have left me in. Let me finish where I started. And the score finishes 4 to 1 today. The West crossed the plate three times in the eighth, helping propel them to oh. the win. Billy Odell takes home the win. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleasak, and our entire yeah, crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've it. been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. Central Coast not happy. Look at that beard on an 18-year-old player. So in three innings, I had six, no hit, six strikeouts. We lost four to one. Yeah, they ain't going to do it. But that's okay. You know, winning this game doesn't matter. It's more about me just striking guys out and absolutely dominating. Because if I can do that, then that's all that matters. That'll help my, uh, That'll help my uh, my draft stock. All right, so it's what two games? So the pro do I even pitch in this one? Because I or do I do I come in as a reliever in this one? Baseball here on the, the show. First one? One game for each team is in the books, and now it's on to day two, and we've got a you good matchup ahead between the prospects from the Eastern Seaboard and the prospects from the Central Region. Was there no international team this time? Wow, the crowd looks excited to be here. I imagine they're all scouts.
Oh, I am starting again. Okay. Matt so Kessler, one start, a right-hander from Michigan, is the starter on the mound. A bunch what do you have for us on him, Danny? This guy has three pitches that he brings into his mix. And if he has all of them working, he has a chance to be really solid. A good pitcher, but he needs command of all three of his pitches. Mm, yeah, but I do to the plate, a Keo eats fire fastballs past him. He will lead this one off now. today. First pitch coming, here it First is. Pitch, it's a strike. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. Steve Reich. 107. He hit that. With the curveball there, that was and a it's strike two. I, wanted it I did not want it to be that high, but it wind up and the did not pitch. come through. And he just kind of hits him off the end of the bat field. there. Padilla is right the there, one field. down. Digging in, Arthur one down. Casillas. One down. He'll get to take his first cuts the here. Arthur. Yeah, that in might be the best no pitch you're getting in this at bat, dude. You may just want it. Hot, but not overly get hot. Not 87 pitch, degrees though. here at first pitch. <laughs> oh, and he's really Ooh. getting the better of him now. That was, it's that strike was a nice two. knuckleball. Kessler isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes and deep into games. It's not that he isn't Curveball, capable, too high, I'm sure. He just hasn't out. been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. That is not something I'm not sure it's this guy's fault, but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular guys in the lineup. They teach pitchers to keep the ball down, but if oh, you can locate Angel, those stairs doing, like man? that, it really gives you the ability to mess with the eye level of the batter. Just, Angel Hernandez is killing Oh, I got it. All right. Back to the mound. Oh, this is way harder than it needs to be. Throw oh, in time, and the side me. is retired. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first year. I only we'll move on the right to the bottom half of inning number one. <laughs> I have to. With no score hard part after a half that ball. It did it for me. But then I got to throw it to first. What? At the plate, Bob Farley as the I switch hitter will take his cuts first. left-handed here. Bob. Second inning oh. starts with a fastball that misses. It's one, one and oh. Okay. Just missed with that heater. But even if he wanted to swing, I don't oh. think he could have put up to that one. Hit sharply on the ground, and that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff Man, single. I was hoping I go through both games without getting any hits. He got he hit that one hard too. That yeah, that one caught way too much of the plate. To the plate now. So is that one, but he not No balls and a strike to count. I mean, if you Ramirez. It's in the dirt. I'm and this one's it's in the dirt, guys. but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Well, here. And there and he goes towards was, second. Uh, Pitch misses. Not a knuckle ball, the so throw he's down. Beat that Way out. late, and he's in there easily at second. Sorry, catcher. Farley leads off Didn't second with out nobody out. Throwing a knuckle ball. Well behind no, that can't. fastball, it's a swinging strike. And that misses, it's so it's a full good. count, I'm three a, and I'm two. In danger here. Hey, here we go. And he got him. Whew. Swing and a miss as he ran All the right, fastball right away. by him for the first down. No, this is what we call it. a challenge fastball. Up a run. Scouts love to see a guy with that enough cool. confidence oh, and arm strength to just reach back in front of it. Fire a heater past yeah. the hitter. No analytics or data is as important to some old school mano o mano. The scouts right, will eat that one up. You behind Owen Tuna. Don't help me that time. Working yeah, for the oh, punch out and that was the a offering. Oh, and he can't catch the, up to the, the fastball as he swings and misses Up for the and second out. The corner. That was perfect. Gonna place Coming to that the plate one now, Sergio Dias. Oh, and he could give his guys an early Killing lead if angel. he can come through here. No score he really here as we play inning number two. Call the strike. Can't no, sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. The reason they want robot arms. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Get out of the inning? No. Nope. Grounded up the first baseline. Got enough of but this it. is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one this and two. This time. Oh, a ball and two angel, strikes. Man, what are you to doing? Two balls to me? and two strikes now. Boy, that was an awfully close See, pitch right know, there. They don't want I know if I'm on the mound, I want that pitch called a strike. That's one of those that could go either way. The 2 2. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to a lot third, of and no swing. It's ball three. Ready with the payoff pitch. 
Oh, this is work. on the ground over to first. And ah. he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning there. is over. Not, one hit, one exactly left. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied nothing nothing. Leading off the inning, Pablo Diaz, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And that swung on and missed for strike one. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Behind 0-2 now. We're going to strike him out on three pitches. So. And there's the first out of the inning. Well, he definitely crossed him up leaving him to watch helplessly as strike three was yeah. called. Green, Any pitcher green, that can rack up a K against this yeah. strong talent is a pitcher that's short. going to have a job we'll for a long time. All right. We'll see if he can yeah. post some more Ks before he's leave. done here. You Throw a one in time at first for out number two. One nothing here. So striding forward now, Akio now, Ito. He flew out in his like, last at bat. In my there game? for strike one, 0-1. Oh Hit down the third baseline. All right, we're out of Throw it. Throw on to first, gets that him, and the side is retired. Nothing doing inning. here this That's half. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Right, the central squad is on first. top so here, to one to on nothing. Yeah, this dude's David coming in. Dorta gets the last call last from the two. bullpen to pitch in relief. What? what? Righty's bad, a thousand off of him, which is less good, but... Hey, we won. All right. Yeah, this might not have been matter, what he expected. I'm not sure he expected to have to go seven outs to get the save, out, but save. Hey, he did, and he iced the victory. A one-run finish, four to three, the final tally today. The Central Prospects took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. David Dorta is credited with the win. Eddie Nelson worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshownation.com. Whatever, it's a win. So in three innings, he had one hit, four strikeouts. Not as good as the first game, but pretty good still. Like, I only had to throw six pitches in the third inning. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, I had a couple full counts in that second inning. With nothing left to do but await his fate, this young hopeful receives a check-in from his high former coach high school me. coach. He wants to know, I want to get drafted. He thinks I got big league potential. I'm not so sure. But thanks for believing in me. I just want to go play. I don't care what team I play with. I think that might be how you choose your team, but I don't want to choose a team. I want to go Welcome number one to the to Tigers, the Major but that's league probably baseball not going to happen. First year player draft. The first pick is officially on the clock. Oh, we're in the... With the first pick, the, the Detroit round. Tigers select Steve I thought I would have gone earlier than Levy, that. a center fielder Steve from the Levine. West Region. With the second pick, the Baltimore Orioles select Jared Cody, a starting wow, pitcher from the West they Region. A starting pitcher With the me. third pick, the Miami Marlins select Johnny Valentine, wow. a starting well, pitcher from it. the West Region. How are these guys going With in front the of me? Pick, the Kansas City Royals select. Okay, I'm going Matt to Kansas City. Kessler, the fourth pick in the seventh round. starting pitcher from the Central we're Region. Oh, I can play for the Storm Chasers. Hell yes, but we're gonna get sent to the Natural first. After a long and lonely first two days of the MLB draft, this player's wait is finally over. This mirrors. He kind of looks like um, Ricky from tra Trailer Park Boys. Kinda. Not exactly, but kinda. Do a heart and soul answer as I talk to my coach. Could have done it without you, coach. I'm going to go play some professional baseball. It's going to be great. I'm ready for pro ball. I could, I could go to college, but I'm not going to. 
It's like I could I could go to college and re-enter the draft and get drafted higher. I don't wanna. We're just gonna go wherever it sends me, which is gonna be in Arkansas. Welcome to Road to the Show. Alright, well, I am going to cut it here. So, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.